Hello everyone. Uh, this is going to be a short little video on how to uh, how you can simulate uh, lots of uh, heavy objects. In this case, we're going to use the the donut that I created a couple of uh, tutorials ago, I think. So uh, let's get started with that. I'm just going to take the donut, copy paste it. And, uh, you know, you can use uh, any object that you wish. You don't have to merge it in like this, but it's just so we don't have to see all the other nodes. And there we have the donut. We, we don't want to simulate with all of this. That would be uh, extremely slow. Maybe not on one or, or a couple of them, but it gets heavy. So we're going to create a simplified version of it. So let's get started with, uh, there is a convex hull that we can use. And if we pipe that in here, we can see it becomes uh, very easy for the uh, Bridge Body Solver to... Uh, you know, simulate with. We can make it even uh, lower by doing a poly reduce and just make it even less, something like so. That's pretty okay. Uh, what we need next is uh, all the points that we want to uh, copy this onto. So, or however you want to do that, I, like. Maybe you want to shoot them from a from somewhere or whatever it might be, but for this uh, demonstration purpose, uh, I'm gonna go with just a regular good old box, and there we go. We can copy this. It doesn't really matter. Plus one. Now it's floating in the air and create some points we can use a volume points from volume make this i'm gonna go with less for now now we have how many do we have two and a half thousand let's go with two for now uh what we want to do next is uh, i'm gonna add a wrangle so in this case, I'm just going to take this, copy the point separation, paste it in here, then just remove it again. I've copied it. And then we're going to use the P scale. Now it's going to uh, look all right once we copy this over. So we can just add a copy to point, the points. And now they are nicely packed somewhat. Uh, and if I change this, they're going to update the size as well. Another thing is uh, we have to have, like when you use the rigid body solver, the name attribute is very important. So let's give these uh, a name attribute. I'm going to do this in the wrangle here. Uh, so we say name equal and because they need to be unique. Otherwise, if all of them had the same name value, uh, the solver would basically uh, treat all of these as one object, uh, which I don't want. So we can use a sprint F function. So we can say first, what if what do we want to call it donut underscore and then here's the special thing uh, we do the percent sign and s for string and then we can say pt num because each of these points that we see here have a number so this now means that as you can see here in the geometry spreadsheet we have donut and yeah, and the number. Okay. Another thing, we can just randomize this as well. So attribute randomize. 
and I'm double clicking. Let's see this in action. It has CD for color by default. So we're going to do a orient, set this to uh, dimension four. And now they are all randomly rotated. Uh, and now we want to set up the dot network. I'm going to go with the default one here. Uh, I'm going to pipe that in and we're inside of the dot network here. We are going to use something that I forgot is let's set this to packed as well, because we want to pack this. Uh, now let's go in here. This is going to be set at first context. This would be the first input. And we want to have a rigid body solver. What else do we want to have? We want to have a gravity, a merge. So we can add in a floor. And my mouse it's is double clicking on me. Uh, ground plane. Pipe that in here. Shift R to do this. So we make sure that the ground is first. Or you can say mutual. That's gonna work. And now it should just work, yep. Yeah. So that's what we get. And now if we wanna, we want to use this, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take these because these need to be in the same place. If they're not, it's gonna look really wonky. So if we do shift control alt and drag, you can see that these are blue now. This basically means that as you can see here, if I change something on these guys, it's going to automatically change here. So we're making sure that the donuts in this case is, you know, exactly the same, which is what we want. And let's drag this in here. And let's see. And let's add a null just for fun. We can see we are working with points, middle clicking. We can see all works just, just fine. And now a dop import. And then just drag in our simulation here. And we don't want to have the floor. That would mess things up. So let's just add, um, I don't know. It, are you, are you messing with me right now? Of course you are. So sometimes the, the viewport isn't updating. Uh, but now we have, uh, only our donuts. We then do a transform pieces, which if uh, you do any destruction, you know about the transform pieces. Uh, with this, we can basically uh, drive the high res with the low res. Now, if I do this, it's not gonna work. It's uh, all kinds of wonky, uh, but we can do a, uh, a time shift, set this to uh, one. So delete the channel, this is just, now it's just going to be uh, at frame one and then we set this to the rest point and now we can see that it works uh, just fine uh, and of course like the the viewport there's an optimization thingy uh, so that it, it doesn't get too heavy uh, in the viewport so what we can do now, now we can just uh, go ahead and uh, make uh, a lot more of these. And it's simulating because I don't, uh, so it goes really fast. Uh, yes, that's how that looks. And then we can just look at our masterpiece and it's really slow in the viewport. That's why you want to have optimization here. So you can actually move around in the viewport, but it, it'll render just fine. Now, how many are these? Two and a half thousand. I said 40,000. Uh, so I guess 
we're gonna just i'm not gonna be uh simulating all that because it do take some time uh but this wouldn't be possible if you were to like try to render high res it would just crash houdini because it would take way too much memory uh let's see 0 0.68 maybe 24,000 see okay 68 that's a bit too much 37 can i just get somewhere close i don't know why it's uh, all of a sudden make gives me less but let's do this 25 now with 45,000 uh beautiful donuts and uh I don't want it to render or start simulating it just yet. And let's see. So we are, it's not fast, but it doesn't take that much memory. I believe it's like 12 gigs of memory to uh, simulating this, or maybe it's a little bit more, but it's not like, it's not going to crash Houdini. Obviously it depends on how much memory you have, but I think most people at least have like 32 gigs. Now I don't see this, like maybe there's no use for this specifically, like render 45,000 um, donuts, but uh, it could be useful for some other things. So yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna sit here and um, letting this simulate, but But you get the point and then once you're like done you just flip over the high res and it's all fast depending on uh, optimization press d and when you have the cursor here in the viewport you have to optimize and then you can set the polygon limits you can change these guys if you want to and yes, so that's uh, that was about it. Uh, so important is to have the name. The name is important because the rigid body is treating them all, you know, depending on the, the, the name attributes. So yeah, that's uh, a quick little thing. Maybe it's useful, I don't know. Bye-bye.